Hey y'all, God bless America. <clears throat> this video is about how to get saved. And I feel like there's a lot of people who think that they're saved, but they're not. Like most of Americans are raised in church, so we think like we got our golden ticket and we're good to go and we're like automatically gonna go to heaven just because we prayed the prayer at some point and we got baptized. But that's not necessarily true. The Bible says work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And that's really important. You know, Paul says that um, we need to walk in a manner worthy of our calling. Jesus said, you shall know them by their fruits. So what really makes a person saved if they have the fruit of the Holy Spirit? The fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. So if someone is exhibiting all of those things, you know that they're saved. Um, of course, there are good people who are just good of their own will, and maybe they don't believe in Jesus. Are they still saved? I don't know. That's up to God. <laughs> That's up to God. You know, I think there are people of other religions who exhibit the fruit of the Holy Spirit. You know, they're loving people, and maybe they're saved. But overall, what Christians believe, what we all should believe, is that there is no under, no other name under heaven by which we by which men may be saved. You know, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And the main verse about being saved is, you know, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So that's really important and it, believing it in your heart. Um, a good quote I heard from a friend, his grandpa would always say, a lot of people miss God by 12 inches, the distance from their head to their heart. So you might believe everything in your head. You might have a bunch of Bible verses memorized like I kind of do. You might have read the whole Bible. Maybe you've been going to church since you were a baby. But if it's just in your head, then you're not really saved. You know, Jesus said, you shall love the Lord your God with your heart, mind, body, and soul. So it's not just your head, it's also your heart. So I pray that you all love God with your heart and your head. And I pray that you're all saved. God bless America. God bless. God loves you. Bye.